What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. Or Baked Zach Novak. In today's video, well, this video was supposed to go up yesterday. It is Cade's loots, treasure chest, locations, all that stuff. Anyway, yesterday my computer decided it wanted to do the whole, you know, Windows 10 reset kind of thing where it updates itself when you're not actually home. I ended up looking at my computer after coming said home and it decided it wanted to reinstall a bunch of things. I lost almost all my stuff. Thank God we had backups and just, ooh, yeah. Anyway, kids, treasure chests, locations, all that good stuff. All the intros. Let's get into it and I hope you enjoy. We're on Nessus at the Cistern, so once you guys have spawned in, simply jump on your spur ahead this direction. We're going up towards the thing that originally people thought was going to be, you know, something to do with the Vault of Glass or the Raid or whatever it was back in the days when Destiny 2 was just in a beta. Yeah, this place. Run up the steps, jump up even higher, and then jump around this ledge, first chest here. We'll actually stay this week in itself, I'm not gonna kind of spoil it. It was a little bit of a better week, not just because Solstice of Heroes was available, but we're moving on to chest number two, but because of what actually happens during this whole thing. Actually, well, yesterday the whole stuff that did happen with the computer was a little bit annoying, but I played a bunch of Solstice of Heroes and I had a lot of fun for the first time. I had a lot of fun doing campaign missions in Destiny 2. And yes, we didn't really have campaign missions actually in the game until kind of yesterday more so. But I will say the campaign mission replay type thing where it's reduxing or whatever they want to call it is actually pretty fun, especially Spark. Just saying that if you guys have actually played it, you probably already know. And holy Jesus, Bungie, that is a good session. I had a lot of fun. And again, today, I've been having a lot of fun with Solstice of Heroes. I'm actually farming it solo, and surprisingly, it is still a lot of fun. There is quite a few ways to actually, you know, get to all well, the higher kind of ranks with said Solstice of Heroes. It's, yeah, it's hard, it's fun, it's challenging, and it's one of those times where I've actually been really enjoying solo play, doing some, you know, Destiny 2, whether it's not actually been strikes, it's just been really everything else. So, that's pretty freaking cool. I don't say from at least my point of view. Anyway, this is I think third chest. Pretty sure it's the third chest. Yes, third chest. I got a legendary engram. Like, yeah, Kate actually decided to give me something good. Again, we're not actually teleporting, we're just going from this spot to the next spot and then to the next spot just standing there now. But yeah, Kate decided he wanted to give me a legendary engram. It was sweet. It's pretty cool. And it's very upsetting because now that we've seen the whole, you know, second trailer of Prince Emo, it does watch his tricks. So many, so much skill. Oh, just amazing. Anyway, Prince Emo, yeah, it's really freaking upsetting seeing how he just shoots Cade, even though Cade's already on the ground already, and it's just like, really? Like, uh, yeah, it's emotional. It's one of those things where I'm just like, Destiny really isn't going to feel the same without Cade, and I'm really hoping that Cade does actually have, you know, that whole backup person being Shiro 4, I'm hoping it's Shiro 4, also hoping that Shiro 4 actually does actually become, or actually is known in the future to actually be Cade's son, I know that sounds weird, but the theory of Cade's son being Ace might actually be Shiro 4, it's just, uh, oh, okay, this is it, this conspiracy, I got a legendary and then I got an exotic talking about his kid, which could be Shiro 4, uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't actually know. It's a theory. It's a very big theory, and it's a theory that I myself kind of want to believe a little bit. I'll talk a lot about that in probably another video. But this has been Cade's loot catches, locations, treasure chests, all that good stuff. This video is a day late. I'm going to jump back on and play some Solstice of Heroes. Hopefully, this video renders out in the next few hours so I can actually upload this and have another video that will go up a little bit later. You'll kind of see about that. But anyway, it's been Zach and Back. Do all that good stuff down below. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a whatever you wanted to leave. Leave it down below. If you are a new viewer, maybe tend hit that subscribe button if you want to kind of see more of my content or even just have a look at the contents on my page you might actually like it you never know you might end up subscribing you might not you might just you know not when I ever come back it's really it's your kind of personal choice if you are a new viewer however and you do want to maybe potentially subscribe and you have hit that subscribe button then maybe hit that bell notification so you can be notified when I do actually upload very sporadic especially if my computer does what it wants to do but anyway this has been Zach Novak do let go stuff down below and I'll be churning like Karen he was a Sharon. But until next time, this 
is Zach Novak, signing off. Peace out.